friends time here of the third the final day of the 31st edition kadai mchi property expo 24 which is happening at the geo world convention center bandakula complex pkc uh today i'm here with a very very dear near close friend of mine akshay kripalani we we go back about at least two decades uh both are being from the real estate industry of the marketing and sales and akshay has been a dear friend also because of the way akshay was doing his business of real estate you want to understand that the real estate has gone through a transformation i call it the real estate 3.0 when we had uh, the first uh, the rera was incorporated on was implications of the rera is a lot of churn happened then we had the pandemic uh, which again brought in a lot of changes and now we have the digitization and the technology uh, which is now um, bringing in a lot of change in the indian real estate since we are here at uh, bkc and this is a pri mchi exhibition which is an association uh, which basically represents the developers of the mmr so that's why we'll be talking more about mumbai we'll be talking about mmr so first of all akshay hi hi Let's so how has been the exhibition which is the third and final day and what is your uh, perspective how has been you know have you been taking part earlier also this so, so this is the first time pcpl is participating in mchi to be honest uh, we didn't know what to expect and uh, so i think i'll start from the day one day one the setup the layout the developers the scale was really impressive and uh, for us being it being the first time it, and it, i think it is was the ideal platform uh when i saw we talk about our expectations from uh, this exhibition was so obviously like every developer here we all want sales and uh, so although the influx of crowd was less but the kind of people who came to our stall uh, the home buyers uh, we were really impressed with that i see the quality in the store i yes. spoke i we talked to other exhibitors yes what so i don't know where i left so i don't know what were the last one year of the yeah so yeah last time so they caught the 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 footfall numbers uh, traction is been less but i think again i'll say the email also agree we are in the digital world now most of the buyers are going online they go to yes aj break and in an acres and they want they yeah, i'm sure you have a website they will be going to your uh, company website and i'm sure you will be getting your information yes, in from there absolutely so obviously we are, while we are here we have some assets that are uh, you know 7 crore upwards and we don't expect some uh, home buyer to come in and give us a check ups but the key is to have the right audience uh, i think we got at least the first day uh where we had uh, good prospective buyers who had the right interest and uh, somewhere their uh, buying intention was in sync with our selling intention so that is most important of course yes uh so i will now come to the second day which was yesterday uh, yesterday i thought it faded out a little bit and uh, and now we are waiting for the third day we are hoping that uh, we are able to uh, overcome what we lost yesterday so i think there was a gamble Hey, I'm sure you as an exhibitor, when this proposal would have come to you, is that this was a long weekend. Yes, this was the Republic Day weekend. Correct. A lot of uh, our so-called uh, visitors, uh, whether they are buyers or investors, they are all holiday. All it. I think that has been. But I'm sure they took a decision, which was a calculated decision, and uh, the response of could have been lukewarm. Today is the last day. We have just announced that they're going to be giving one lakh rupees for. every hour for one of the lucky dip or one of the uh, the visitors so every hour is 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 a good attraction um i think you know she has been able to create a good buzz uh, i would like to give a case study where we've had uh, some of our site executives give us an feedback that the most of the visitors who are coming there are aware of this exhibition are aware that we are a participant here And are are aware the freebies that MCC is giving. So I think this is very important, right? Even if a customer has not come to your stall, but that buzz has been buzz. created. We had jacket ads. We had hoodies all over the city. I think that buzz also is important. The fact that an exhibitor, your brand is uh, being uh, so called, you know, showcased, marketed there. That all ripple effect will happen. Yes. Actually, I know you. Uh, you've been always innovating. Uh, now from a marketing and a sales perspective what are the changes you are seeing uh what is that you are going to be bringing on the table 
to your company to a proper instruction so uh, i would not like to use the uh, very easy digitization um, approach but the but i think what we are trying to achieve uh, is create you know market penetration like all brands uh, where we are now going uh, across the landscape of bombay from a very uh, local brand to a very uh, i would say a city oriented brand as of now and then maybe a national brand so our goal as of now is to convince our home buyers that pcpl as a brand is not only delivering on time not only delivering quality quality product but is a brand that you will come back to because we have uh, because our product offering right start from 1 crore going up to 10 crore so we have a lot of upgrades happening within our uh, set of buyers only so that is something that we look forward to in 2024 a lot of upgrades from a pcpl one bed to a pcpl two bed so within your own group or your own uh, customer uh database so there is upgrading happening yes so in fact means we we have uh, launched an app specifically for these customers now so the bcpl app offers not only a platform for channel partners but also for our home buyers to get a obviously an upgrade update of what the project they are interested and uh, also uh refer uh upgrade uh and so you have a lot of a mix of kind of so basically what you have done is you build a community of your yeah. of your a uh, buyers no more you would get so that's your that's a retaining kind of uh, uh, a strategy that yeah. uh, if i can ask uh, in your uh, uh, how many downloads you have as per the app is concerned from a channel part to download and from your uh, actual buyers who have been part of your family so as of now uh because this app was launched in uh, i mean the sole purpose was to give the home buyers the extension or maybe an insight of acpl so we have maximum home buyers on our platform uh, they are close to about 1000 that is good yeah which in your average so 1000 are like are these family or the individual individual it depends so there could be two from one family also it's only one person who uses the app not everybody is really so that is can i say like if i get the figures right say 1000 family the families yes which is a very good uh, number and similar channel partners are around 1100 which is very good yeah. so for a for a brand which and for a a kind of a uh, you know the focus which you have which i believe is redevelopment yes so under the uh, because of the focus of redevelopment this this is a good numbers so we look we are looking forward to you know magnify our approach magnify our uh, brand penetration this year and uh, for that i think every day there will be a new strategy hey so i'm talking to you i wish you all the very best thank you thank, thank you, you.